Hey guys, welcome back. And we are recording. So today I want to talk a little bit about Laravel Jetstream. And if you haven't checked Twitter or GitHub or basically any social media over the last couple of days, you probably do not know that its reception was a little bit weird. Uh, many people didn't like it. Many people thought that Laravel UI was being discontinued, and it was. And uh, it, it is a source of a lot of controversy. So I just want to, to give you guys um, my thoughts on it and uh, a little rundown of how it works. So um, when Jetstream first came out, uh, I had the same opinions many people had. Um, I didn't like the path the framework was taking. Um, I love Tailwind, I love Livewire, I think they're great. But uh, the majority of people see is Bootstrap. So, although I know that Taylor does whatever he wants, and I don't mean this in a bad way, I mean that he can do whatever he wants. And I know that Laravel has been pushing Tailwind and Livewire for, for, for quite some time. I thought it was it was good to give the users um, a boilerplate with Bootstrap. But um, when I began to use it, I th one, one of the things I didn't like as well was I thought that it, was, it, it didn't have uh, a lot of customization available. I thought that you were given a boilerplate and you had to work your way with, with that. But um, once installed it and played with it a little bit, uh, I was completely wrong. I think right now, now I think that Jetstream is one of the best things out there. It gives you a complete, a very professional SaaS um, boilerplate, something for you to start with that saves a lot of time. And it is very well thought. So you have team management, you have uh, user pictures, you have API tokens, uh, one more. You have multiple teams which is a bit annoying to do and we just have so many features that uh it, this is amazing jetstream is amazing and i love it right now and you if you want to use bootstrap you can still use it the laravel ui package is still being maintained not actively but uh it works you can use it but now you have the option to use jetstream and one very interesting thing about jetstream is that it uses a package called fortify and it handles authentication using that Fortify package. And the Fortify package is a headless authentication package. So it provides you a backend to do authentication and you can write, write your own front end for that. So if the community wants to, they can make packages that use Booma or Bootstrap or whatever and integrate it with Fortify. And when it came out, I thought that Fortify was only going to be used internally by Jetstream but it's possible to use it yourself, and I think it's very interesting. So, Jetstream is a combination of 45 and a boilerplate. You can choose a stack, Livewire or Inertia, and Inertia uses Vue.js, and Livewire uses regular blade views, and it will generate you a boilerplate for a SAS with basically everything built. So you have teams, you have profile pictures, you have API tokens, and much more. So I think Jetstream is a huge of an advance, um, I I appreciate that the Laravel core team is pushing Tailwind because I've worked with Bootstrap, Tailwind, Booma, uh, what else? Materialize, and I can definitely say that the only one that gave me kind of an understanding of CSS and how to build things properly was Tailwind. So I appreciate it. I didn't quite like it when it came out, but uh, I really appreciate it now. So I want to give you guys a quick tour of Jetstream and I'm basically just going to show you what the documentation already does but I know that you guys, some of you guys like likes that kind of thing so um, I'm just going to give you guys a little rundown on how it works, uh, the features and how you can customize it. So let's jump into the code sec. Okay guys, so I'm here on my terminal. And to start a Jetstream project from scratch, you just have to type Laravel new. Make sure you are using the newest Laravel installer. And you can say, let's say Jetstream. And we can pass the Jet flag. And we can also pass the Teams flag. 
So we want to measurement, let's do it. I want to use live wire, so you can choose the stack. I want to use live wire. Okay, so it's there. Uh, let's go to the folder. I'm going to configure the database, so let's come back in a few minutes. Okay, I am using a SQLite database just for testing purposes. So I've already configured it. Let's run PHP Artisan Migrate. So the first thing I want to show you guys is that we have some additional migrations. First, we have these two factor columns migration, personal access tokens migration, team stable migration, and session stable. So if we go to the user's migration itself, you can see that we have some additional fields. We have the current team ID and we have the profile photo path. So let's go to database, migrations, and then to two factor columns. So we have this column that adds some fields to the user's table. We have this one that creates a table. We have the team's table itself. And we have the team user table. We also have the session table. I'm going to show you guys what it does in a sec. If we go into the code, the first thing that we can see is that right now we have the models uh, directory, which wasn't present on level seven and lower. And if we go to the user model, we have several traits being used. So we have one that handles API tokens factory. Uh, this one's not related. Um, profile photo teams and two factor authenticatable so this is very interesting because if you want to use a profile photo on another model that's not the user you can also use this trait and add the, the field to your database and it will work just fine so i really loved the way they did this using separate traits that means you can pick which ones do you want and only use them let's do an artisan serve, oops, artisan serve, and open it. So the first thing that we see is that we have a new welcome page, and this one looks great, but let's use what we, we want to show. So I'm going to click on register, and we have this beautiful registration page built with Tailwind. I'm going to say Mateus and register. Welcome to your Laravel Jetstream application. Documentation, request, all of that. We already seen this. So you already started with this boilerplate, and you have this really good looking template, which also works on mobile. So it already gives you a really good head start. This looks great. And if we click on our user, we have profile. That means it already ships with all of that. And this is very interesting. So if your account was compromised or something, you can change your password here, and then you can log out of all of the other browser sessions here. If you need to be GPDR compliant, you have this option as well. You have to, you mean, with this option, it ships with Jetstream. You have two factor authentication using Google Authenticator. You can change your password and you can change your details. So, this is the kind of page that every SaaS have and you have to build it from scratch. But with Laravel Jetstream, you have it already. So, um, let's go to API tokens. So you can create API tokens, delete, update, read, create. Uh, this is not interesting for me at the moment. So let's go to team settings. And here we have our team and we can do, you know, YouTube and update it. And use uses live wire so the page is not refreshed. I can add someone to the team. The only improvement here I would make and I might release a package for this if no one has done it yet is to allow users who are not signed up to the on the on the platform to become members. So for instance if I want to add a friend and they do not have an account on the app, you cannot add them. But this feature itself is great. So you can add people and you can also create a new team. So let's call it a new team. Other change I would make is it does not switch teams when you create a new one. But we can go here and we can add people and all of that. 
and this is shipped with Jetstream. So the way that the application knows which team you're logged into is by using this field. We talked about it. Current team ID. So if you were to change it, let me show you guys. Let me open another one. Tinker user first. You can see I am current team ID 2, but if I go and switch to this one, it goes to 1. So Jetstream also already handles a lot of edge cases. So let's say you are on team YouTube and the admin of the team removes you. It already handles that. It will change you to your default team. Um, regarding tokens as well, you have authentication using Sanctum. So if we go to web that PHP, you can see that we are using Sanctum to see the dashboard. Let's go here. And then you have the team model, which is pretty simple, just has the name and whether it is a personal team. You can see that it is using events to handle it. So we can go to team created, extend team event. So you can change this. You can use your own custom events whenever a team is created or updated or anything. If we go to config Jetstream, we also have some configuration. We can disable API for instance. So if I disable this, you can see that it is gone or you can add new features. And if we go to Fortify, we can also configure the authentication. Remember that Jetstream uses Fortify behind the scenes. So it is handled here. If we go to providers and then Jetstream service provider, we also have some configuration here. See that it uses external classes for everything. So nothing is bundled in Jetstream, nothing is hard coded. So you have this create team class that is published to your app. So this is actually in your app. It's not inside the Jetstream package. And you can change it. You can change it to whatever you want. So you can change how a team is created, how a team is updated, how a team member is added. See? And this is awesome. The way that they uh, made this configurable is, is awesome. You can also add new roles. So you have admin and editor, and it's the roles that appear right here. So if you want to add a new one, you can just copy and paste this and change a few settings. But overall, everything's configurable, including the views. If we go to resources, views, teams, and show, you can see all of the components. So updating name form, well, I'm going to comment this out and it's gone. Team member manager, if the user can delete the team, in this case, if he is, if they are the the owner and they have the permission, they can delete the team. So pretty much everything is configurable. Profile as well. You have everything here. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed uh, Laravel Jetstream. It already ships with a great looking template and you can customize it further the way you want. So. Uh, let me know what you guys think and if you guys are going to use Jetstream and if not, what you guys don't, lo don't like about it. I'm, I'm eager to hear what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching guys and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.